Good tidings, fellow friends of the world, it's Zach Lowe, and welcome to a hopefully quick little rant about the new Winona animatic. So if you haven't seen it already, go in the description down below and check it out. So, first and foremost, uh, I think what I want to cover is the conspiracy board. This is actually probably the most interesting lore part of the, the animatic. Maybe not the most interesting, but there's the most to cover, I guess. So... I think the first big question is who is the one behind the actual little layout? Who, who's doing this? Um, personally, I think it's Winona. This is mostly due to the amount of personal items, and it's not like a detective couldn't get their hands on this kind of stuff after Winona's disappearance, but, you know, the, the personal items. So I'll, I'll cover that in a bit. So we have Family Photo, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, we have a few photos of Charlie. I think one of them is a missing flyer, so anyone can really get up their hands on that, pretty much. Um, and there is a letter. There's a letter from Charlie to Winona. So, there's nothing too interesting. She's just talking about her job with Maxwell, and she's like, oh yeah, it's going great. Um, I think the most notable thing is that all these dates are before 1919, uh, which was the date the factory actually burnt down, so there's not, like, any additional stuff. Now, we don't have a full scope of the board, so that could not exactly be true. Um, but, you know, you have little notes that are like, oh, hey, I need to gain access to the Voxela factory, and then you have an application for the Voxela factory, and you have a picture of the Voxela factory, and where does Winona end up? The Voxela factory. So that seems to add up... Um, you know, if this did take place after it already burned down, then there wouldn't really be a need to get access. Um, I, I mean, I guess that could be like an old note that they didn't take down, but that's a stretch. The second thing I want to cover is the, uh, the little references to other characters. Namely, I mean, not namely, but first and foremost, the uh, Abigail slash Wendy flower which I think is very strange compared to everything else that is on the board. You know, you have like a Woody missing flyer, you have like WX schematics, you have uh, like a, a library burning down. But why is the flower important to this whole series of events? That's what I'm very curious about. It's possible, now I'm not really sure about how uh, relevant the little connections between the pictures are. Some of them seem random, some of them maybe have some connection. But the flower is connected to Charlie, who is known for, you know, her rose. And so maybe she's a flower person. And maybe, you know, Wendy and Abigail, you know, the, the twins, are believed to be the nieces of Maxwell. So maybe Maxwell introduced Charlie to them at one point, and she gave them these flowers. I don't know. Um, maybe the, a flower was left at the where they vanished. I don't know. It, it just seems kind of weird that that's like one of the, the key things there. You know, this flower is important to the investigation. The Woody Flyer doesn't really give us much information. I can't really read what it says. It's like, a... a Amor or something? I don't know if it's a name, I don't know if it's... I'm not really sure, I can't really read it. The WX schematics are interesting, because is this like, oh, here's something I need to build? It, it, it seems kind of random, like, you know, you have all these things that are seemingly connected, and then there's WX, so is he already built? Is this something that was going to be built? Is this something that was recovered? His importance is kind of strange there. Um, and then there's the fires, so particularly, you know, we have, like, San Francisco ablaze, and then you have the New York library, um, on fire. Now, library, immediately, we're thinking Wicker Bottom. You know, if there's going to be a connection to a library, it's gonna be the librarian. You know, fire with Willow, all right, all right. Uh, and then there is the ex exposition Universal? U Universal? I don't know how to pronounce that. Which, uh, has a date, 1910, which would be, I believe... A thing that took place in Belgium? I don't know if that's right. I don't, I don't know my stuff too much. I looked into it a little bit. Um, and that's interesting because my first thought went to Wes, because Wes's portrait has, like, the Eiffel Tower and that kind of stuff. So, you know, France, and France and Belgium are pretty close. So I was like, okay, maybe there's a connection there. I don't really know. Um, as far as what I don't see, Weber and Wigfrid-related stuff. Um, oh, and Wolfgang. 
Uh, but we already kind of know Wolfgang stuff, you know, from the uh, William Carter puzzle, we got all those, like, circus flyers, so that's not too bad to not get any information there. But with Weber, um, it's possible that the information regarding Weber is just too old. I don't really know his exact place in the timeline, because I don't, you know, his, he, it's really confusing. Like, is he, like, I think he is canon alive, but was he, like, canon revived? Because that's how you unlocked him, so that's kind of confusing. Uh, he was a farmer boy, so there's probably not as much information regarding him, you know, because he's not in the cities. Uh, and then Wigfrid, Wigfrid, I, I don't really see anything that pops out. So, mm, um... What I did forget to mention briefly was the actual picture of, like, a portal. You know, that's kind of weird. You know, um, like, what, like, what is that? Like, is that, like, a, is that a drawing? Is that, like, a picture of, like, some weird phenomenon? I think that's kind of, uh, interesting. And it's by Woody. That might have some significance there, you know? I don't know. As far as the, uh, the thick of the animation goes, uh, I think the first thing that I, I'm just now kind of realizing I probably doesn't mean anything, honestly, but uh, the Wagstaff symbol, we'll say, you know, the Voxala symbol, which is kind of like those two little spirals that are opposite from one another, kind of resembles the uh, the symbol for Thulacite, you know, the ancient language. Might not be related at all, just thought it was kind of interesting. The big thing to focus on is, of course, the mysterious person getting pulled into the portal. And, of course, they're wearing gloves, so... The glove slips off and they, they get taken in. Now, first thought is, well, this is Wagstaff, right? That's It's the Wagstaff voxel symbol on this door. It's probably his workshop. First, the first thought's Wagstaff, right? Who else would get sucked into a portal and mysteriously disappear during the voxel fire? That literally fits the bill for Wagstaff, for those of us familiar with Wagstaff. So, it's probably Wagstaff. But... Uh, interestingly enough, so regarding the Hamlet update that's gonna happen with two characters, one of them, the inventor, which is which is Wagstaff, there's there's sound files for Wagstaff. I'll I'll play one real quick. Alright, good. Um The the line they told us was an inventor who ended up exactly where he wanted to be, which is kinda strange considering here they're kind of fighting it. They're like, no, I don't wanna go, save me! I mean, maybe they're just caught, caught by surprise, you know, they're like, I thought I could just, like, walk in, you know, like, I didn't think it was gonna, like, steal me away, I don't know. Following that, we get glance at Charlie, um, I think the only really noticeable things here for me would be, one, she is in her Gru form, I guess, you know, she's not in her queen form, you know, she kind of had that, like, <laughs> existential crisis where she was like, am I evil or am I good? And then she became, like, queenly Charlie. Well, she's not like that now, which makes sense because this is in the past. Um, you know, and obviously this is interesting because a lot of the thoughts were like, oh, Maxwell was the one pulling the strings. And so the question is, was Maxwell the one pulling the strings here? Was, was he the one who enticed Wagstaff? And then when Char- not Charlie, when Winona fixed the portal, did- Charlie see her, and she's like, oh, okay. Or was Charlie doing stuff with Wagstaff while Maxwell was messing with the survivors? It's an interesting thing to think about. Uh, there's a poster, um, you know, like, there, there's, like, some, some schematics for the portal, but, like, there's a poster that's like, our shadow's lurking among us, and it looks like a terror beak, so I think that's kind of interesting. You know, I don't know if that's just, like, Clay making fun of us, or, like, if that's actually, like, a thing, because, like, hmm... It means more more people are aware of this than we think. Oh, and I nearly forgot to mention this, but uh, when it flashes Charlie's face to like the the picture, it does the picture of her younger self, and so it makes me wonder how much they've really seen each other. <laughs> like, it wasn't like oh, it's Charlie, my sister, you know, like, and she flashes back to when she last saw her or whatever, you know, older. It's nothing super big, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. There's definitely a lot of setup for potential for, uh, you know, all these other character reworks and intertwining lore. And, you know, I have my character connection video and some people are like, all oh, the characters don't need to be connected. Well, that's how it feels. That, that first, like, ten seconds where you have all the things like, they're all connected. That's how it feels. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, uh, make sure to share your theories and thoughts down below. Uh, this is really awesome. I'm super hyped. And uh, we're going to get a bigger picture and a more uh, hopefully filled out picture with the more uh, animatics that'll come. So thank you very much for tuning in and uh, as always, farewells. <laughs>